about these two. Yeah. Cool. All right. So um, this is a this demo is just I just titled it video processing because when we're doing things like blob tracking, um, it feels like blob tracking is actually pretty simple once you have your video formatted correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole trick behind blob tracking is just to get your source video into a format where you have a black background and white blobs. Technically, you can also do a white background with black blobs. It doesn't really matter. Um, but let's say it's you know, on a black background with white blobs. If you can get your video into that format, then it's not too hard. Right. Sometimes your video is noisy. Sometimes you have things that you need to threshold away that aren't supposed to be in the scene, but they're in there and you can't remove them. Um, there's all kinds of ways to get your video sort of processed into a blob trackable format. And so I put together this uh, video processing module sub patch here that just kind of shows a bunch of a bunch of module a bunch of ways to get your video into a format that's uh, um, that's trackable. So uh, let's see. We need some demo. Why don't I have demo videos in here? What? You don't um, have the videos, but you have the grab, so it could you could use us. Uh, Not that I want you to. Uh, I have this, um, let's do the Logitech overhead here. So. Uh, I'm going to open up this demo file. Um, Not that one. That's the oh, grab. Oh, sorry. That's the grabber. Sorry. I'm going to read this uh, okay. video, and I'm going to load up. Um, this is actually just a regular webcam from overhead. Um, this is a student from last semester, and he's just walking back and forth here. So the idea is we want to track him. So this is actually a pretty interesting challenge. How uh -huh. do we track? How do we track just him? Uh, so how do we get this video into a black and white format where the only things that are white are him moving? Right, especially with all that light. And there's a lot of light. There's other people Oof. in the scene moving. There's me here teaching and whatever. Uh, people are milling around, like shifting position a little bit in their chairs, so they're moving. Oh, she's doing it on purpose right there. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see if we can get it to work. So I'm going to send the video into this video processing modules uh, thing here. Um, so what we could do is look for motion. Uh, so first we want to go into grayscale, RGB to Luma, and then we only want to look at changed frames. So jit.change will filter out duplicates that are accidental duplicates. Um, so let's then go into uh, abstiff, will give us frame differencing. And you can see it's kind of working. Like we can already see just a like white outline around him. And uh, so let's see. Um, let's do a, a CVJIT RAVG running average, and we can just like uh, smear out the video over time a little bit. Um, wait, what's the? Oh, I'm sorry. This only goes from zero to one, so that was much too. All right, so if we slow it down, it should smear things out over time a little bit, um, and that also makes it less and less visible because as you smear things out over time they become diff more difficult to see. So let's take the result of that and go into curves and just really amp up the brightness and contrast. So um, brightness, contrast, and more brightness. There we go. Ooh, we're getting somewhere. Now we're starting to see just him moving primarily. Uh, so then we could do a threshold. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Let's do thresholding. Uh, greater than, just up greater than, now we're, now we're talking. There's a lot of noise though, just from other stuff in the scene moving. So let's see. Um, okay, well, mm. I think we could track him at this point. I think it, we would be, we'd be able to do that. Um, sometimes, you know, I like to blur things, just, let's go into, whoops, whoops. Wait. Instead of going straight from curves into JIT op, let's go curves into blurring, and then blurring into JIT op. There we go. Look how that's a lot cleaner now. I bet we could track him at this point. Um, so we'll just take this and go out, and now we should have this video, and that's like ready to be tracked. So uh, we don't have any tracking stuff in here. Why don't Where's the tracking code? Well, it wasn't necessarily about that. It was really about adjusting the video so that it was trackable. But I wanted to show that, that it actually I know, I, can I, be tracked. 
Uh, let me just grab it real yeah. quick. Um, where's, the, where's the main patch? Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, okay. So let's just um, go back here and we'll just copy the blue thing and the yellow thing. Copy. And we'll paste it in here temporarily. I don't know that I'll save it in the patch, but let's see. This might work. This might not work. I don't know. Let's find out. It'll work. It'll work. Okay, so we'll take this and we'll go into CVJIT label. Okay, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Seems to sort of be working. Um, there's other little bits here that it thinks are blobs, but I think we can get rid of those by saying by giving it a blob threshold. We can say only track blob one. And then we want to overlay the original source video here. Um, let's just go back here and hit that. Why didn't it? I don't know. Okay. That's interesting. There we go. Make it green. Okay. All right. So it's tracking a bunch of stuff. Mm. Uh, we want to make it only track him. So let's see. What if we just use the first blob, the primary blob? There we go. It seems uh, a little slow. No, it's doing okay. Mm. I don't know what's going on. It's a little laggy. It is laggy. Yeah, it's it's, it's interesting because the what is it? The running average one. Yeah, that's a little one of expensive. Those. I know. I just have never had much luck with that one. So funny. Oh, I love running average. It's great. All right. Um, so let's instead of going, let's let's save a little. Save a little CPU here. That's a lot faster now. Well, and then you have all those uh, windows in the video processing sub patch. Uh, I forgot to turn off my notification. Um, yeah, we can just make the. Uh, the blob limit a lot bigger, and that should. Why isn't that getting rid of threshold? Hmm. Well, it's doing okay. I mean, if we could isolate just the one blob, uh, which shouldn't be hard. But anyway, you can see that it is starting to be able to track him. We're mm -hmm. not quite there yet, but the whole trick is once you get this. How do you get this video into a blob trackable format? That's the trick. Right. And these video processing modules are really helpful. Uh, there's a bunch of them. We haven't even showed some of them. Um, but there's Slide, which also will blur things. Or actually, CVJIT R Average is the same as JIT Slide. Slide's a little more powerful, actually. Um, you can scale and rotate. Uh, 3M will give you the minimum, mean, and maximum value in the scene. Um, uh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Cutoff map. Um, but we'll come back to a lot of these as we need them in these various demos. So I'm going to delete the rest of this stuff and just to uh, remind that uh, this looks like a totally useless image, but actually this is pretty. This black and white image is pretty great because we're starting to be able to track uh, where he is by finding the centroid of this ghosty, this ghostly blob here. Yeah. Which mostly the way we got there was by doing difference frames by mm -hmm. tracking tracking motion. Okay, there we go. We'll keep going.